So it's an exciting day for the inventory module at PS Tracks. We've got a new report in today. So I'm just gonna run through the inventory module reports really quickly. You're already familiar with the inventory list. This is just gonna show you the current lay of the land of all of your inventory within PS Tracks. So the different locations, specific containers, you can even search by subcontainers and specific items as well. And so this is gonna just pull up um, all my inventories within the central supply location, as well as all the information pertaining to those inventories. So earliest expiration dates, what my current quantities on hand are, the difference between their maximum and minimum par level, as well as other fields of information that we can track in here, such as unit price. We also have some other reports down here. So the logs, that's where all of your inventory activities go. So any restock events, when you transfer inventories from one location to the other, usage events, or even just those routine inventory checks that you're doing, all those activities will get logged right here. We also have an expiration date report. So here's where you can forecast out. Let's just choose, I'm gonna go out a year. Here's the inventories in red that are currently expired that need to get removed from circulation. The ones in yellow, those are coming up on expiration within the next 60 days. And then these in white, these are other inventories that will expire by this date that we entered up here. So helps me kind of forecast out inventories. You know, it looks like we may get through these by the time that they expire. Um, but just helping us get a sense of anything that needs to get reordered. We also have the below min report. So this is just going to show us, you can again filter it down, but this is just going to show us all the inventories within these locations that are currently low. So you can see their location, what inventories they are, and the difference of what they need to get restocked to. And then last but not least, the new report that we just got is the trend report. So you can, again, filter it down by location. If I just went to um, look at our central supply, I can go back, you know, whatever time frame you want to search. And then it's going to show the trend of utilization for these inventories. So I can see what the utilization in August was in, the, in September, October, what the monthly average over this time period was, the total amount, and then also the total cost for these inventories over that time period. So hopefully it helps you out with your future ordering and just following the trend of what's going on with your inventories.